Hey guys, this is Mike, and in this video, we're going to be continuing our series on research methods for part three, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the feature in Logos Bible Software called clippings. We're going to look at how you can use them and how they compare to notes. So sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and dive right in. To get started, let's go ahead and hide our home screen uh, to reveal our previous layout that we have from our previous two videos in this series. And if you want to see uh, a link to the series, go ahead and look at the eye icon up in the top right or check the description for this video. So what we have here is our previous layout where we have our five resources open. And once again, we're doing a search or a study on the topic of the extent of the atonement. So in particular, we're looking at limited and unlimited atonement and some of the options in between the two. So we've started with taking notes after doing searches. So you can see my note file open here on the left-hand side. But what I wanna to show today is a different type of research aggregator called clippings. So you can actually access clippings right up here in the documents menu. So you can go ahead and click documents and then on the left you find the option for clippings. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on clippings to open a new click clippings document. Clippings are very similar to notes in that you are picking select texts in order to add tags to as well as to notate. However, clippings do operate a little bit differently than notes. Uh, clippings really uh, harken back to an old time research method uh, where people used to take print books and then they would have a stack of three by five index cards. And when they found a quotable quote or something that they wanted to remember from that resource, they would take out a three by five index card, write down the quote quote or the uh, section of text that they want to use later on the front side and then on the back side they would write down the bibliographical information from where they pulled that quote. So clippings really operate in a very similar manner. Uh, in essence we're creating digital 3x5 or 3x4 note cards. So let's go ahead and show you how to actually add clippings. So there's a few different ways that we can do this. The first way I'm going to go ahead and open up Millard Erickson here and I'm just going to highlight a selection of text. So first thing that we can do is we can actually right click on a highlighted section of text and just like when we added notes to a note document, we can do the same thing down here in the bottom left hand corner where we can add a clipping to our, right now it's called untitled clippings. Uh, so we'll go ahead and, and do that and that adds a clipping to our clippings document. Notice that it looks very much like a 3x5 note card. We've got uh, a hyperlink to the place where we just took a clipping. We've got a title for our clipping. We've got when we clipped it, and, as well as the exact section of text that we clipped. Notice that just like in notes, we can add a tag to this, or we can even add notes to this. So we can notate this. So I'm going to go ahead and notate this as Baptist uh, viewpoint uh, for the sake of using it later. And one other thing that we can do is on the on the bottom right hand corner of our 3x5 note card we've got a little eye icon if you're using a Mac, if you're using a PC this looks a little bit different but still the same, the icon's in the same spot. We can click that and that flips the card over so we can actually see the bibliographical information. Notice in the top right corner of this you can actually change the style of your bibliography. Uh, I'm going to leave mine as Turabian. You can copy the bibliographical information out of here to paste into a word processor. You can do a lot of different things. When you want to flip it back over, you click done and you're back over to your other side. Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and name our clippings document as well. So I'm going to name this extent of the atonement clipping. So now we have that available. So that's the first way you can add a clipping. Second way, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down just like we did before and find this other section that we've added a note to. So I'm just kind of redoing what we've done already. You can highlight and then click and drag that highlighted text into your clippings document and that will create a clipping uh, uh, doing that way as well. So let's go ahead and find a different resource. I'm going to do dogmatic theology. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and highlight another section of text. One other thing you can do is you can highlight text and then click add clipping in the top left hand corner of your clippings document panel. And that will do the same thing. It'll clip that little piece out of that resource and create a clipping in your clippings document. So a lot of the same stuff, I mean, this is very similar to what we were doing with notes. So I'm going to go ahead and add a note to this called uh, Reformed Perspective. 
And I'm gonna add a tag just like we did in our previous notes. So I'm gonna do call this uh, Clipping Reformed. And then uh, this very first note, I'm gonna go ahead and add a tag and call this Baptist. So very similar to notes, um, only just a different format than what we were doing before. Now the downside about clippings is that when you make a clipping, it actually doesn't add any sort of highlighting or notation to the text where you clip that out of. So that's one of the great things about notes that you can't do with clippings is you have these little visual icons and indicators on the text. So clippings do not give you those visual indicators and icons, uh, and as well as you're a little bit more limited with how you can manipulate the data and how you can look through uh, or, or leverage these clippings as opposed to notes. So one of the things you're going to hear me say in this video, I'm going to go ahead and say it right now, is that I actually prefer uh, notes over clippings um, as far as aggregating information from the text of your resources. However, some of you may say, you know what, I just really like the way clippings work. I like these 3 by 5 note card looks. I like being able to flip it over. I like the way you can drag and drop stuff. Uh, and one of the things you'll also notice is that you can drag and drop these cards around. So if I want to move this dogmatic theology clipping up to the top, you can simply click the, the card and then just drag it up and then drop it into where you want it to go. So you can change the order of these clippings. You can also delete clippings. So if I want to get rid of this second Millard Erickson clipping, up in the top right hand corner you've got a delete icon. You can click that and that deletes your clipping. So really these work very similar to 3x5 note cards. And some of you may say, you know what, that's, that's really how I like to, to do things. And you know what, if that's the way you like to do it, go ahead and do it that way. Uh, I'm not telling you one right way or wrong way, I'm just telling you my preferred route is I actually like doing notes as opposed to clippings. Uh, but once again, you can do it how you like to do it. Now, one of the cool parts about clippings and one of the ways that it really shares the same type of functionality with notes is that all of the content that you're adding to these clippings, this is all searchable. So these tags that we've added, as well as the notes that we've added to our clippings, that can all be searched from your documents in order to find uh, these notations, just like we could in our notes. So just to highlight this a little bit, notice that in this very first clipping, I've added a tag Baptist, and I've also added this note Baptist viewpoint. So if I actually open a new search panel, and I have my range set to your documents and I type the word Baptist into the search and then run that search. Notice that it searches all of my notes and one of those notes that it finds is my extent of the atonement clippings uh, document. And I can open that up and there I am. There's my clipping that has the tag Baptist in the notes. Uh, so I can actually click on that to open my clipping uh, and it actually opens that clipping right to where I want it to go. We can do the same thing uh, and notice that my extent of the atonement notes were also hit from our previous video because I added a tag called Baptist to this note. So it found that note because the tag Baptist is on the note. So really cool. We can do the same thing if we type reformed into our search. We can do the same thing here. Notice I've got my uh, clippings here, extent of the atonement clippings. Open that up, I've got my extent of the atonement note. Notice it found the hit in my note that I made that says reformed perspective. Uh, it would also find this tag on there as well. Uh, and notice it says 2x next to it. That means it found both of those hits on this one clipping. So you can retrieve your clippings through a search like this, or in your actual clippings document, you can do a command F or control F search for the same thing. If you just want to filter down your clippings, I can type Baptist into my uh, search and it filters my clippings to only show my Baptist clipping. Or I can type Reformed and then it filters it down to only my Reformed tagged clippings. And once again, this control command F is searching your tags in your clippings, not the notes. So just keep that in mind. So this regular search is a little more flexible in that it searches both tags and notes on your clippings. So that's great. So hopefully that was helpful to show you another way that you can actually aggregate information or store research as you're reading through your text. So you can choose which way you like best. If you like notes and you like to have little indicators on your text, uh, go that way. If you like this 3x5 note card look and it just brings some nostalgia to you and you really like that and you feel like you function right that way, use that. Or use a mixture of both. It's up to you. Uh, really, it's up to you to figure out what your best workflow is. I just want to show you how you can leverage these tools. 
So if you found this helpful, please let me know. I'd love to hear your comments in the comments below. If you want to see more about this, let me know about that. Or if you like the video, give me a like down below. And if you want to see future videos from this series or from my channel, period, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button here. As always, enjoy mining the depths of the scriptures using Logos Bible software. Until next time.